Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22, continuing our Elm Creek Start from Scratch run. And uh, we just finished up the cotton harvest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unload here. Let's turn you... I guess we unload finish bill. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so, I did some math between episodes. I was kind of sitting down, doing crunching some numbers, seeing, seeing some things, and... What I came up with is that as of right now, we're making about 15,000 liters of flour uh, a year with our current fields. We have about just a little over two acres of fields uh, and we're making about 15,000 liters of flour during that time. Our bakery can consume about 51, 52,000 liters of flour, right, right about 52, just, just under 52,000 liters of flour a year. So that means we, even if we tripled our current acreage we would still be just a little bit short of keeping our bakery busy the entire year with with bread so uh do a little bit of math that comes out to being about um seven acres right almost right at seven acres to be profitable or not profitable to be max um utilization of our you know flour into the bread into the bakery type of thing so we would need seven acres of fields to have enough flour um, to make that happen. So, what does that mean? Um, let me check where see where this is going while we're while I'm talking. This is the farmer's market, yes? No, oh, this is the actual spinnery. Um, so, what that means is, if we buy field 47, that almost doubles. It's about 1.75 acres by itself. So that just about doubles, gets us very close to four acres. We're about three acres short, you know, a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, if we build 47 and then we buy 51 just below that, uh, sorry, 50 right below that, this is a little over three acres. So that would give us just a, maybe a hair over seven acres right there uh, with all of our fields. So I think that would definitely be our goal if we want to keep our bread factory busy all the time. Now, um, right now with the current rate, the bread factory gives us about $12,000 a year in bread. Uh, we do make about twenty-four, twenty-five thousand dollars a year in. Um, actually, no, I think a little more than that in uh, silage. So, silage is still technically our biggest money maker right now, but we are we are definitely supplementing that with the bread and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's definitely in there as well. Um, we double that. Obviously, that makes it even more. I do think we want to go ahead and buy forty-seven. I think doubling it right now is the right move, and I think we want to try and target getting to fifty. Field 50 as quickly as we can to um, almost double it again, quite frankly, and get us up to that, that sweet spot of seven acres. Um, now, in order to get there, we're probably going to have to do a few more contracts, unfortunately. Um, or it's just going to be slow, which is fine as well, I suppose. We could just make it go a little bit slower. I guess for you guys, it wouldn't be that slow because I could just fast forward time and zip ahead pretty quickly. So that is also an option. But the problem with zipping ahead and not doing contracts or not doing very many contracts is obviously we're still having to pay that yearly loan fee. So there is that to consider. Let's get our money for this real quick and um, go from there. I do think if we're going to sell uh, or if we're going to buy that field, we should go ahead and kind of buy it pretty quickly because we do want to get some fertilizing fer fertilizing rounds on that field as quickly as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and grab you, collect all that. A bunch of potato harvest, some fertilizer, things like that. I really want to try and get away from the contracts. I'm really wanting to distance ourselves from contracts as much as humanly possible. Um, no, I did the math on the cakes. And the cakes, if I were to buy milk and... Um, sugar cane from the little silo, right? We've got the little silo right there. If I were to change the prices to be a fair price, let's just set milk to average and sugar cane to average, um, which sounds about right, right? Like this, an average price, whatever. Obviously, I wouldn't be buying them, either of them, if they were at the max price. Uh, I'd most likely be waiting till they were at the lowest price, but just to make it even, I'll put them at the average price. Um, then I still make like $1,200 profit per cake per thousand liters of cake. So still a pretty decent profit, all said and done. Now, in order to do that, I would still need the dairy and I would still need the sugar mill, which I'm not, you know, that that's cost money as well. That's, you know, a hundred thousand bucks or something like that. 
for those two billion, maybe 120, something of that nature. So, and of course, you know, any machinery that we might need, things like that to haul things around, things of that nature. So there are some other things to consider for the cakes, um, but it's definitely an option. If even without having to do cows or, or, you know, sugar beets or sugar cane or anything like that. So something for us to consider, but I think I'd like to get the bread ramped up as much as possible and try to maximize that a bit. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and buy the field and get this done. It does need lime, which, you know, it's unfortunate. So it's, this first yield is not going to be super great, but we can at least get it fertilized and get it, you know, some of the way there. So we're going to go ahead and go left farmland, grab you buy you this does have a crop that will go straight into our, our bread factory or our, uh, our flour factory I should say then that I think that's worth it uh what do I need I need to go get the uh fertilizer so we've finally grown Way too slow, in my opinion, but <laughs> we got there. I'd like to get the cakes done. I think the cakes would be fun. Um, I need to figure out where in the world I'd be putting, like, greenhouses and things like that, because, you know, that adds to it, but... And probably, what, what would the order be? We'd probably start with eggs, because we could sell eggs off while we're waiting for a really decent price. Uh, and then probably second to that would be, um, after eggs would probably be maybe the butter and slash milk, you know, probably get the butter rolling. Maybe sell the excess off of that while we're waiting. The final thing, the last thing we'll probably do is strawberries just because, I mean, the strawberries do produce a lot, but they don't sell for very much. So we probably want to not sell the strawberries and use those for the cakes. And which means that by the time we get to the strawberries, we want that to be the like one of the last things that we sell, so that way we can um, put that right into the cakes. Of course, there's the sugar as well. I forgot about that. And sugar, sugar is not a great price either. Um, I mean, it may produce quickly, it may make up for it, but I think we would definitely start with the eggs first. Which, to be fair, I mean, we're not quite um, at a point where we have excess grain right now, right? We're still using all of our grain for bread. I mean, we're not going to need this much fertilizer, but I'm just filling it up to... In case I decide to unload, I can have it all in one spot. All right. There we go. There's all our fertilizer. Well, let's get over here and get this field. At least first step of fertilization done. The fact that it has rocks on it is a little bit unfortunate. Not much we can do about that. The fact that it has medium rocks on it is very unfortunate, actually. Small rocks I can deal with. Medium rocks. Pretty annoying. But I'm pretty happy to, like I said, we almost doubled our field size. That's pretty cool, actually. Wrong field. <laughs> this one over here. Let's get you rolling. I want to kind of check this real quick. What are we looking at? I mean, sixty percent yield bonus. I don't. Maybe it just hasn't come, taken out the penalty for the lime yet. Um. Actually, let me see something real quick. Where is my yield info? There it is. Um. So fertilizing twice will get us forty-five percent. 
Plus we can take care of the weeds. That's 65. Plowing's done. 65, 75, 80. I don't know about the mulching, the soil rolling. So yeah, I think guess we're just losing, losing the 15% on the lime. Which means max we could get is probably 85%, but it's most likely going to be like 80. Because I don't think we have the mulching or the soil rolling counted. Um, let me turn mulching back on. Yeah, there's no mulching and... Don't know if it tells you at this point if it was soil rolled, but I don't think it would be. If it was, then we would have like a two and a half percent like number here. Instead, we have a flat number, even 60. So, I mean, it's still going to be good, you know, good yield. Not amazing, you know, not the best yield, but still good yield. And we'll get the line put on there as soon as we can. So not a big deal, but uh, unfortunate, a little unfortunate. But I'm glad we got it early enough to get the fertilizer on it if we'd waited any longer. Uh, not had any fertilizer on it. That'd be even worse, obviously. Field 50 is ready to harvest with some corn right now. Get this fertilized and then we will zip ahead another month, I think. I don't think there's any reason to stick around at this point. So I'm not planning on taking any of the contracts right now, I don't think. We're just going to ignore this. We're going to see how we do. We're going we're gonna to kind of see how this goes. Before I forget, I guess I will pay off a little bit of loan. I always forget. When I remember, we'll save a few hundred bucks or hundred bucks or something like that. When I forget, it's not the end of the world. All right, let's get you this last little strip over here. How's that look? Looks pretty good. All right. Well, we'll just leave this here because we'll be doing another round here in a moment. When's this do? When's this coming up again? This is barley. It'll be ready to harvest in June, which is fine because you know we can start the grass on that a little bit earlier, and maybe do an extra round of grass before we start going back and doing sorghum again. Do we want to get the straw since we do have the baler? Probably. We might as well if we got the baler. All right. We're going to fast forward another month. Uh, hopefully the next month or two. The silage is at a good price. Let's zip over here and see if the silage over here is close to being done. Obviously, the sides that we're going to have off this field is not going to be done yet. But this is close. That'll help. Uh, says it's silage, so it looks like we're good. Cool. All right, let's move ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I did all that with this thing pulled up. No big deal. Apologies. I'm looking for it. There we go. Right, snow one. Great demand at the debris crusher. Okay, I mean, I guess it'd be a good time to pick up some rocks, but we're not going to do that. No field found. That's right in front of you, my friend. Are you not fertilizing the snow? What? It's not a thing, is it? Okay. Are we too far along? I can't see very well. No, we shouldn't be too far along. We're not even destroying crops or anything. Maybe it's the snow? I felt like we fertilized in the snow before. How's the grass? The grass is pretty close, isn't it? Although, unless it's uh, asleep, which is very likely the case. I think it's asleep. I think it's sleeping through the winter. Um, uh, all right. Well, let's check the silage prices and then we'll probably zip ahead after that then. I want to look for it. There we go. 
How much did the bread get up to? Oh, wow. It got up to 1869. So it did go up a little bit. I mean, not a... Oh, no. 1915. Oh, it got to 1915 at the restaurant. Well, good to know. Um, I mean, we sold, what, 9,000 liters and we sold it for a price that was, what, about $90 less. So... Yeah, I mean, we lost, we lost what, 900 bucks? A little bit less. 800 bucks. Which is, you know, not insignificant. But we weren't... You know, how were we supposed to know? We weren't... 100% sure that it would, in fact, be that price. So I think we still sold it at a good price. Um, let me fast forward to get the snow to go away. Let's see if that's all our problem is. All right, there's the snow. Can you fertilize now? No. Are we past the stage or something? Is that what it is? I guess you can only fertilize in the first couple stages. I guess we're past the stage. Well, I'm glad we got something on it at least. It is a bit unfortunate, but not much we can do about it. I don't normally fertilize this late, so I don't know where the cutoff is because I usually get it all fertilized early. All right. Um, anything else to do? We got some good tractors here. I mean, JCB Fast Track is a nice tractor to haul stuff with, to be fair. Big old beefy header. I mean, some good tractors, but not what we're looking for with our $3 left in our pocket. Um, we can't even buy a cup of coffee with that, right? What else do I need to do? So we can check the contracts real quick, just to see if there's anything that just really looks amazing. I mean, there's some cultivating contracts. Still got that big beefy one. I mean, we can knock this one out. This one out. I mean, we can get 20000 30000 bucks almost with all those cultivatings with that big old beefy cultivator. Oh, I was going to check silage. Oh, I got myself distracted. Uh, 190 at the animal dealer. 185 at the plant. Which is close. Uh, best month would technically be January, so we're gonna wait for that. I think we skip ahead. I think we're good. Um, I mean, I'm tempted to go do some of those contracts, but I just I want to see if we can do this without contracts. Silo. Oh, it dropped down, but it's going back up again. So maybe it'll break that 200 point, 200 mark. Um, I mean, we'll look. I still got those cultivating ones. Wow. I mean, kind of surprised. There's a lot of cultivating jobs in there. I mean, we could technically, we could borrow the equipment for both of these big ones. Zip through some of the smaller ones even quicker. That is also an option. And it also did the big one quicker, obviously. Uh, what are we going to do? Um, it looks like we're out of stuff to make flour, but we still got a lot of flour sitting there. Do we have weeds? We do not, thankfully. And we're still sleeping, so hopefully we get ready to harvest next month. Show. Sure. Is there anything to do but fast forward again? Oh, uh, we we're going to wait for that price. Yeah. So let's go look at the price of the silage. Keep monitoring that. We'll start fast forwarding. I mean, it doesn't go very fast because it's already such a small value anyway. Both at 188. It looks like the animal dealer is actually potentially going up slightly faster. Yeah, it's, it's actually passing it up. Can we break 200, please? That would be really nice. Apparently, January and February are both kind of tied for best. 
So it's also possible that we can wait till next month. Technically, February is slightly higher. So we could technically, we could possibly wait till next month and see if it'll break 200. You know, we're going to test this. I mean, if it's, if it's going to be a better month, if it's slated to be a better month, let's zip ahead and see if it is. Snow on the ground. Oh, 191. Well, that's annoying. February, you were wrong. You lied to me. Going up or down? Yeah, it's going down. I mean, one of them's going up slightly, but the other one's going down. So, well, I guess we'll sell it for 190. It's unfortunate. I could have gotten almost 200 for it. It might have even broken 200. But, I mean, who, who's... We, we don't know for sure. What am I looking for? I'm going to drop you guys off. I mean, it's definitely going to go back up anytime soon. So, we'd have to wait a whole other year for it to go back up again. Well, now we know. Next time, January, if it's a good price, sell it. Because, uh... February. I mean, I knew it wasn't guaranteed, but it would have been nice. It's like I made the mistake of selling too soon for the uh, bread because it did go up the next month. And then I sold too late. Oh, I went the wrong way. I sold too late for the uh, silage because the next month when it was supposed to go up, it didn't. So, <laughs> there you go. Wrong both times. Two different, two different decisions. Yeah, what's um seventeen thousand five hundred liters here, right? Something like that. So not a ton of money, but it'll be something. And what is it, the animal dealer? Yeah. It's possible that a biogas plant will c catch up, but we'll go ahead and sell the animal dealer for right now. Biogas plant is slated to go back down again. Really, the big thing is, can we survive until next January when we can got to do flour again, or we got to we got to do bread again? That's the big thing, and I don't think we can without doing some contracts. I th we have to do some contracts along the way, just a few. I mean, ideally, I can maybe hold out for some harvesting contracts, so at least feeds into our productivity, right? Maybe some baling, and just maybe limit it to those two types. So we're continuing to get, you know, product that we're going to sell anyway. Sure would have been nice to have all those bells we had last year, right? That I just sold too early. <laughs> oh, well. We're about to have a bunch more, so it's going to be okay. Alright, not a ton of money, but almost gets us back out of out of debt. To be fair, it wasn't a ton of bales. Pretty happy to have that extra field though. I mean that's that's a good investment. It's a good investment. It's like I said, it's almost double, double what we had. So that's a pretty big deal. Other than the fact that it's not fully fertilized, but 
we're still going to get a decent amount. All right. Any, I mean, there's not going to be any harvesting contracts in the middle of winter, but anything that we want to do, two $12,000 contracts. Both with pretty sizable equipment, actually. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We could knock so many of these cultivating contracts out with that, those two pieces of big, giant equipment. I don't think I, I just don't think I could pass it up because that right there, just those two twelve thousand dollar contracts will pay for um, my loan for a year. <laughs> so no, no, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna avoid it. We're only gonna do harvesting contracts at this point. Harvesting and bailing. Harvesting and bailing. Say it to yourself. Harvesting and bailing. That way we can just really focus in. Um. Yeah, I, I, that's that's what we're gonna do. Harvesting and bailing. We've got we make enough money per year to pay for our loan and then some. If we throw in a few harvesting and bailing contracts, that just makes it that much easier. We're gonna be fine. It just looks bad right now because, well, we're not selling our silage yet, right? And we're gonna have to wait another year. We do have to find a way to make it another year. To be fair, that's where hopefully those harvesting and bailing contracts will help out. We'll see. All right, we're gonna put a cut in there. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. Am I wrong to hold off on contracts right now? I mean, I just. I'm trying to get away from the contract trap of just doing contracts all the time, which we've done so many of. Um, if I can avoid that and just focus on what we're doing, I think we'll be in a good place. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.